In this video, I'm going to be sharing with you one of my favorite formations, really up and coming formation in Madden 21. It's been good all year, but I think people are starting to realize how good it really is. We're going to talk about how you can get some pressure from it. And this is the nickel 335 will formation. This formation is very unique. It's very powerful in my opinion um, because of some of the alignment things that we can do from it and some of the defenses that we can create. Now if you're new to the channel, my name is Cody and my channel is all about helping people become the best Madden players that they can become. And so if you're looking to get better at this game, I just want to encourage you to hit the subscribe button at the bottom of the screen. It's completely free to subscribe and it just allows you to be able to stay up to date with the latest tips and strategies right here on the channel. Now what we're going to do is we're going to be able to create a kind of old school little sugar defense that we used to run in Madden 12. We're actually going to bring it back here in Madden 21. And uh, how you're going to do this is you're going to use the nickel 335 wheel. I believe that I am in the um, Seattle Seahawks playbook, I'm pretty sure. If I got the 4-3, yep. I'm in the Seattle Seahawks playbook. Seattle Seahawks has a really uh, interesting little package. It's got 3-3-5 wide, it's got 2-4-5, it's got triple, uh, and then it's also got 3-3-5 wheels. So I'm pretty sure I'm in Seattle. Um, or I actually might even be, actually, you know what, I think I'm in Chicago. I don't know. It's it's one of those two, Seattle or Chicago. But look, go on huddle.gg, you can look it up and you can find this play. But you can do this from any play out of nickel 3-3-5 wheel. It's one of the cool parts about this. If you want to get my entire nickel 335 wheel defensive scheme, you can get that on my uh, true fan membership page. You can basically sign up to get all of my schemes there uh, for just five bucks a month. Every single week we update it with a new offense of concept, a new defensive concept, or a new meta. And then we also talk about what the best players in the world are doing. So if you want to get access to that, it's 12 exclusive videos a month. It's three new videos every single week. You can get access to those very in-depth tutorials um, and again, all you got to do is click the link in the description to be able to sign up for it. It's just five bucks. Very interesting. This is a very good defense. And um, we're going to talk about a very specific way that you can create some really interesting alignment. So the, the play that I like to use is cover two. You don't have to use cover two. You can use whatever you want. Um, but basically, it's a universal adjustment. So you see here when we come out, the defense looks like this. All we're going to do is we are going to globally blitz all of our linebackers just like that. And then we're just going to pinch our defense. Um, and then we're just going to basically continue to show blitz here. And what you'll see is that it should get these guys in the gaps. I might need to grab something else. I'm going to grab like a cover four quarters or something. But basically by pressing multiple times, you'll be able to get these guys in the gaps. I, I don't, I forgot. I'm not supposed to pinch them. I'm supposed to, to, to uh, um, I'm supposed to just press. I forgot. That's how you get them going the gaps. I was laughing this up earlier. And this is actually just, I'm telling you, the pressure is really interesting. So, Anyways, you just go cover three guys. So globally blitz your linebackers, press them. Now you see see how they go in the gaps like this. Once they all go in the gaps, you're going to show blitz just like that. And then you're going to use her over the center with your user just like this. What's cool is this is an old, I mean, this is like old, old school. This is like really, um, like really, really back in like blast from the past kind of thing. Madden, Madden 12-ish. Because you see you can create three man pressures off the left and you can create three man pressures off the right and then you're just kind of hovering in the middle of the a gap so all you're going to do is just basically run the blitz and you see you get double edge heat it's really really simple it's really really good pressure um now let me talk about a little bit of what is, what you can do from this so the base front is this where we're going to basically do this it's going to work better in game they're going to go in the gaps a lot better than they already do um but then what we can do is we can start making adjustments so we can start zone coveraging out of it so um, for example, one of the things that we can do is we can basically create essentially a cover three. So I can put that middle linebacker in a purple. Um, I can then drop that guy into a zone uh, just like that. And you see here we're creating essentially an overload concept on the right side. So snap the ball and you should see I'm going to get decent pressure off the right. Now I, I might need to adjust that a little bit differently. And we talked a little bit about this in the actual breakdown of the formation. The beauty of this though is that you can send so much pressure like it's crazy it's crazy to me how much pressure you can send uh, from this formation just from this basic basic front so for example if we don't want to put the linebackers in those in those uh, zones then what we can do is we can actually create pressure with our show blitz look so I could blitz that slot um, or that safety off the left edge and you'll see we're gonna get nice clean looping pressure in off that safety so the beauty of this is you can send it from any of those four guys including the guys that are in the gap it's really important that you press don't pinch your defense i'm sorry i forgot that um i didn't even honestly know it until i was doing this video i didn't know that you couldn't pinch but um but just don't pinch okay just trust me 
Just don't pinch. But if you want to get this left, um, so again, back to the pressure though. So if we want to get the pressure off of this edge, um, you can see we can basically do essentially this right here. And then essentially we're just gonna kind of like hover right in here with our user. And at the snap of the ball, you should see we're gonna get pretty decent pressure. Uh, right there we got shed D, but you, you see the idea. You can create these, these plus one blitzes. Um, again, all I'm doing, I just globally list my linebackers. I'm gonna press, press until that linebacker on the right goes down. There he goes, now I show blitz. And now all I have to do is, I don't even have to crash my line. I think that might be the mistake I was honestly making. Um, but I could just do something as simple as this right here. And, you know, we're going to have pretty decent uh, pretty decent pressure off that right edge. So the left edge might work a little bit a little bit better than the than the other side. Um, there's ways that you could do this with the, the shifting. So you could also, the cool part about this is we can spread our defensive line. See right there? See how I spread them and the guy shifted to the left? So now what I can do... Um, is the same again just same concept so we're just sending this is just five man pressure off of the bunch side so if i want a user i need to you know kind of be intentional about where i want to stand but basically um you know i could just hover right in here and we've got a chance to get some pressure so anyways the point is nickel 335 wheel is legit it's got a lot of potential there's a lot of blitzes that you can do from nickel 335 wheel that you can't do from other formations primarily because of the alignment the cool part about the formation is it has all of the um it has all of the the, the pros like it has all of the um just like big nickel over g elements so like you could use a rush off both sides if you wanted to i love that you could stand in this gap so like if they run if they run the ball you can just come right through and blow it up with your user like this formation's got the whole package so check it out thanks for watching nickel 35 will if you want to learn my entire uh 335 will defensive scheme you can get that down in the description of this video um and you can get all my stuff down there true fan membership is the best thing that i've ever done so be sure to sign up for that it is uh unbelievably good it's very simple but it's very straight to the point you're going to get a lot of content and you're going to get a lot better at this game thanks for your time i hope you enjoyed the video and we'll see you later